Hello students, uh, in this video we're going to solve another example um, of curvilinear motion and um, this problem um, includes a rocket. So let's see what is our um, learning objective is. So um, in, in this example we'll see how to determine the rectangular coordinate direction meaning the angle and displacement coordinates given the velocity function so if we are given a velocity function in rectangular coordinates uh, how can we determine the um, coordinate direction which is which means the alpha beta and gamma so if it's your velocity um, at a certain time and we can find um, the angular um, coordinates of that velocity and defined by alpha, beta and gamma and we will also uh, find the displacement uh, after a certain amount of time. So let's see the problem. Um, the problem says the velocity of a rocket is defined by um, v equals to 5i plus 10 plus twice tj determine the magnitude and coordinate direction alpha beta gamma of jet plane acceleration after um, two seconds and also determine the displacement of the particle over five seconds so this is a, a little bit a simpler um, problem that the first example that we solved so we will always um, follow the steps what is what are the knowns what is given we know the function uh, velocity function is given so we'll start from there j um, so this only thing given um, we're looking for the unknowns are um, alpha beta gamma um, at time equals to two second um, we don't know and the magnitude so magnitude of the acceleration and um, the direction angle of acceleration at uh, two seconds and also we need to find displacement uh, of that of the rocket Mm, displacement of the rocket uh, after five seconds so um, to find the acceleration we know it is um, simple if we just take um, derivative um, of velocity with respect to time will get the acceleration since it is 5i if we take derivative with respect to time it's zero because 5 is constant and for the second part it's also 10 that is constant so that also comes zero plus uh, twice t if we take um, derivative of that it becomes 2 so that's j and that's i so basically we see that the acceleration is uh, constant and is twice j so it doesn't vary so after two seconds which we're looking for after two seconds what will be our acceleration well since it doesn't it, uh, the acceleration is not a function of time so it will be always constant twice j so now we get our um, acceleration. Um, to find the angle, um, 
so okay let's find the magnitude so to find the magnitude um, of y equals to i component which is 0 and j component and z component is also 0 um, so magnitude of the acceleration would be 2 meter per second square um, this is our magnitude and um, now let's find the unit vector of the acceleration we know uh, to find the unit vector uh, we have to divide the um, vector form of the acceleration divided by the magnitude of the acceleration so we see the unit vector is um, twice j divided by 2 which gives you 1 j so this is the unit vector um, so now we have to find um, the angles to find the angle uh, we know uh, the angle alpha can be found if we take cos inverse of um, the x coordinate so let's again write down 0 i plus twice j plus um, and 0 k that's our acceleration and then our unit vector that we found is a uh, um, 0 i one j and uh, zero k so alpha which would be the angle between uh, the x axis to the acceleration so we can uh, see that with x axis we have zero um, so if we take um, that cos inverse of 0 will get 90 degree um, if we do uh, if we find the beta we get beta equals to cos inverse uh, 1 because of the 1 here we know that's 0 degree and gamma cos to cos inverse 0 again because we have 0 and we'll get 90 degree so this is our angles um, that we are looking to find um, direction angles so now verify let's verify if we um, did the calculation right so if we draw and coordinate system i and j since there is no k direction so we'll not draw it um, and we see the velocity function which was um, um, well which was 5i plus 10 plus um, twice tj and also acceleration so we, we were um, working on acceleration and we have the acceleration um, here so if we plot the acceleration no matter what we see that um, acceleration is twice j so if we plot twice j it will be a point for example here one Two, so it is always constant um, that point so it's exactly on j axis and we can see that j axis makes um, 90 degree with alpha axis and with x axis um, so that is this and then with k axis which is g axis 
this um, J also makes a 90 degree so which is this one and um, the acceleration uh, here makes 0 degree with J axis so that is 0 so we just uh, validate our result uh, that the direction we found for acceleration is um, accurate now let's move the second part of the question which asks to um, determine the displacement of the particle um, for that we need to find um, by definition uh, of the velocity um, so we know v equals to dr over dt so if we want to find dr change in position we can we do have to we have to do um, integration so from 0 to r um, and velocity from 0 to t and we know t is 5 second so we'll do integration of the velocity function this one so if we do the integration we'll get for 5 i we'll get 5 t in i direction and for the j direction or um, y axis we'll get 10 t plus um, t square j in j direction over 0 to 5 seconds and then the unit would be meter so if we plug the value 0 to 5 so 0 multiplied by t is 0 so we'll have only the 25 in i direction plus uh, for j um, 50 plus 25 um, in j direction so final displacement um, r from 0 to 5 second would be 25 i plus 75 j so this is our displacement after 5 um, second so we have solve all the parts of the problem we found uh, the displacement in five seconds the um, angular um, coordinate of the acceleration and then um, the magnitude of the acceleration so this solves the problem see you guys in next video to solve another problem thank you